Welcome to Three Minute Maths. This is all about taking away or subtracting fractions. The thing you need to remember is with subtracting fractions, the denominators have to be the same. So it's fairly straightforward. If you get a question which is something like 5, 6, take away 1, 6, the denominators are the same, so that's going to be equal to 4, 6. And one of the things about fractions is you need to make sure you reduce. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. So I reduce that to two thirds. Okay, so in terms of uh, perhaps make it a little bit more complicated, let's say if that's six and five six and that's one and one six, all we do is we take away the big numbers first. So six take away one is five. We've already taken away five six take away one six. So the answer is gonna be five and two thirds. If the denominators are different, then we need to make them the same. So let's have a look at a question like this. So we've got two thirds minus one quarter. Well, the way I'm gonna make them the same is I'm gonna make them both over 12. So three times four is 12, so I'm gonna multiply the top by four, which is eight, and four times three is 12, so I'm gonna multiply the top by three. So eight take away three is gonna be five twelfths, which is the answer to this question. Same thing is if we've got something like seven and two thirds take away two and a quarter, well seven take away two is five. I've already worked out uh, two thirds take away a quarter is five twelfths, so that would be five and five twelfths. This is more typical of an exam quake paper question. So seven take away two is five and two thirds take away a quarter will be five twelfths. Just occasionally you're going to get an exam paper or an exam question which is going to be slightly trickier where you get something like three and a quarter take away one and two thirds. Well, from what I've said before, that's uh, kind of okay because we're going to make sure the denominators are the same. So let's just have a look at that. So that's going to be three and something over 12 minus one and something over 12. Well, four times three is 12. So therefore, three times one is three. Uh, three times four is 12, so four times two is eight. Okay, so I can take away the numbers, but three twelves take away eight twelves. I can't do that. So that's really important that you see that when you do this sort of exam paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that three, if you just completely ignore everything else, that three, I'm gonna make two and 12 twelfths. So therefore, that's gonna be exactly the same as three, but if I add that to the three twelfths which I've got here, then I'm gonna be in a position to make it two and 15 twelfths, which is exactly the same as this one. Now, if it's that, it means when I take away the one and eight twelfths, I'm in a much stronger position to be able to do it. So two take away one is one, and 15 twelfths take away eight twelfths is gonna be seven twelfths, and that would be the answer to this slightly tricky exam paper question. Okay, so this has been Three Minute Maths. If you want any more information, more details, search on the channel. There's loads of good information on that and lots more detail. Hope it's been helpful. Look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.